uh, me, uh, uh, you too. Interwebs, we're dudes, good friends, couple guests, lots of laughs. I just do time and crap. You're now tuned in, enjoy the shit from Portland, Maine. And that's just it. That's just it. That's what's up. Welcome to another edition of That's Just It, the newest talk show featuring my friend Connor and myself, Kurt. We are here to bring you the latest and the greatest when it comes to people that are cool, our friends, entertainment types, uh, random folks that we found on Congress Street. Uh, but today we've got something special. Why don't you reel it in? That's right. Uh, our guest today is a, a young woman that has her pulse on uh, the music scene here in Maine. She is a woman of many hats, or as the French would say, a, a dame oh, of, je uh, je uh, je of many chapeaux. <laughs> Sorry. And she write, is a writer for Dispatch Magazine, and she is the host of the Cover to Cover series at the Big Easy every Tuesday night. Um, the the uh, lovely Holly Noonan. Welcome to the show, Holly. Hey, Holly. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming by the so studio. Much. Thank you. We're gonna have a really great discussion. Um, <laughs> well, let's just get let's just jump right into let's it. Let's just jump um, right, right into the questions. So I've just been reading your bio here, and I'm very curious. How did you get such uh, the biceps? Those are those are insane. I mean, these are pretty good. Yeah, um, those are some guns. Well, I have a much wow. younger sister, uh, about 12 years younger than I. You beat her? No, she used to beat me. Oh. So um, I had to toughen Thanks. up. And so, you know, lots of. Also, kitty lifting. Kitty lifting. If kitty you really want to get in shape, lift a fat cat. Yeah, I've seen her cat Rigby. Uh, I haven't seen it in person, uh, but I've seen photos of it on You've Facebook. You've had nightmares about it. Yeah, it's, it's like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> oh, yes. Like, I, you don't really believe it until the you see it with your eyes. Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. So, yeah, the wow. answer to your first question kitty lifting and Bison. sister yeah. abuse. Sister abuse and kitty lifting. But thank Two you things that I've never had to experience, but uh, it sounds terrifying. Yeah, well. I, I've just got a, this is, Yeah, those little spaghetti arms <laughs> hanging out in Italy with <laughs> my friends. Yeah. Your, your hussies <laughs> uh, <laughs> in Italy. It's, it happens. Yeah. It happens. I mean, shit. Now, uh, now here at That's Just It, we aren't, we aren't afraid to, to, to tackle some controversial issues. Yes. Um, you know, there's been a lot of criticism lately about uh, the news from the Noons column yeah. and why my band, uh, Connor <laughs> well, McGrath and the Cool Cats, hasn't been featured in the news from the Noons column. Why? Because we played, we've played Rack's Pool Hall on St. John Street, oh. the City Lo Limit Saloon in Sanford, Club Texas in Auburn, <laughs> and, and Captain Jim's Roadhouse near Meadowbrook Farms That's in New favorite. Hampshire. Yeah. And, and you know you won't even talk about it. right and well I, uh, no, no hold on let, let me finish what I'm gonna oh, say Holly please. I want to know why you don't feature real American <laughs> rock and roll music and all you do ever is uh, talk about is these poopy bands that nobody ever cares about like the Mallet Brothers and Kurt Baker what I mean heck? that Will Mallet he, he's dumber than a pile of rocks <laughs> and I hear his girlfriend's a, a real skank oh. and <laughs> That Kurt Baker, I mean, him leaving The Leftovers was like the worst decision in music since Rob Thomas left Matchbox 20. Yes. What, I for just his solo career? Yeah. So you think Santana is nothing? <laughs> is that, Santana, is is, Santana is old hat. Kurt's got more STDs than Santana. That's, That's true. That's true. That's true. He doesn't have as many stylish hats as Santana. Or guitars. So when are you going to feature uh, Connor McGrath and the Cool Cats in your News from the Noons column? Well, Connor, um, perhaps it slipped out of my radar because I, one, have not received any uh, Facebook invite uh, event invitations. We have a MySpace page, actually. Well, I mean, I can't. I... And uh, a Zanga. Uh, if anybody would like to follow Connor McGrath I think you need cool to just cats. cool it. You know, she's I mean, doing her best, man. I am trying. I there try are a lot to, of bands in Portland. Uh, there are in, in the state of Maine and New Hampshire, and I try to uh, kind of do as much as I can, but I'm actually only um, obligated to 150 words. So we got to talk. Who's the head of Dispatch? Who can I... Who's, who's uh, feathers can I ruffle to get uh, some cool cats so features? No, I know. There's I a couple. Know. But anyways, I'm sorry that I've neglected Connor and the Cool Cats. I know. Um, and we're playing at Club Texas this weekend. With, this weekend, with, Saturday. With, well, for we're St. opening Patrick's up. Yeah, Day. we're opening up for Trickster. 
Well, maybe you can swing up to Winslow and check out the WBLM band at oh. the uh, the Winslow VFW, where that's we a will plug. Be yeah, if anybody's in the Winslow which, uh, area, the Maine Bikers Association. Ooh, Nothing says St. Yeah. Patrick's Day in Irish heritage like motorcycles. Bikers. Which brings up a good question: You are in the WBLM band. Um, and I've seen the WBL and band a couple times, and I've noticed that you are really one with the tambourine shaking. You can shake it like, oh my gosh, it's pretty amazing. It, I, you know, if you haven't seen the WBLM band yet, go just for the tambourine shaking. I wanted to know, do you like your tambourines plastic or wooden? Well, right now I have a wooden one, but uh, I'm thinking about buying a plastic one. Just the half circle. The half circle. Yeah. Is it's there, a, it's there, easier. It's easier. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, if you have like a fake leg or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the plastic ones are kind of easier. I know. But I smash my wooden know. one. <laughs> smash I, wood. I do know them. Yeah, you are <laughs> honing and wood smasher. Extraordinary. She's a regular uh, lumberjack or uh, lumber Jill. Lumber Jill. The Lumber Joe Holly Noonan. Thank you. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. Well, okay, I've got a question here okay. too. Um, it says in your bio that you are an advocate, a strong one, for party pants. Now, <laughs> when I party, I usually don't have any pants on, so I wonder, you know, what is what are party pants exactly? Okay, well, I guess party pants are really kind of something that I came up with because, like yourself, I, I've always been an advocate for the no pants revolution, which takes place promptly at 5 p.m. every can, day. Can, well, we it's just, 6, 7 well, o'clock, and we're still wearing pants. Yeah. It's channel two, though. We can take off. A I would prefer if you probably did not. not. No, just because the ladies. Th You're ladies wearing a Canadian tuxedo, <laughs> right? Hey, that's like one full thing. Yeah, I really think that Connor was trying to channel some George Harrison and get on my good side with that Canadian I know. tuxedo. Exactly. Yeah, George Harrison and uh, who else wore the Canadian tuxedo? Did Bob Ross wear a Canadian tuxedo? I feel like probably. that awful human being, James Taylor, probably. James wore that. Taylor. I it mean, was his birthday yesterday. There. Screw him. Anyways. Your writer states that you will not do an interview unless Connor's wearing full denim. So. <laughs> it's, it's right, exactly. True. Yeah. It's true. So anyways, back to party pants. Uh, I guess they're just more of a figurative thing that I like to tell people to put on to go out and party. So oh, party right. pants. Figurative. So the party pants, it's like more of a mental, like the party yeah, pants, like, like. frame of mind. A party pants are a frame of mind. Like anything can be party pants. Yeah. My, uh, my Winnie the Pooh sweatpants can be party pants. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I do wear them out regularly. That's true. <laughs> On trips to Walmart. On trips to Walmart. <laughs> You've had some pretty to Commercial Street Pub, nights. yeah. Wow. Silver Silver House. Don't the Silver wear. House Tavern, which is do actually do not a, wear them there. <laughs> do not. We, we, well, uh, I thought you owned that place. <laughs> yeah, no, that I thought place you were, owns you me. Were silent owner. Oh. Speaking of establishments, it also says that you, um, Holly Noonan, love having dates at Subway. <laughs> Why is that? Is it the smell? I, it's that bread smell. I want to know, because you've been on many. I've seen you on dates there. Dates with myself and my iPhone. Oh. I go to the one on Congress Street because they have the best music ever. Like, whenever I walk in there, it's always either Donovan or the Beach Boys. Today I heard some Roger Miller. Roger Miller. And I would like to sit quietly, but sometimes they're individuals that try to invite themselves to have a sandwich party with me and it doesn't quite work out so but for the record I've not been on any dates to Subway uh, well then you need to hire a new uh, biographer apparently so because yeah. it says Subway all over here it's like I will be having to beat my what minions later so now we're, we're into having fun here at that's just it so we got a, a little game this isn't fun that we'd, we'd like you to play <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun I know Kurt is I'm not anymore <laughs> Now I want to I want to ask you uh, here's a question I'm going to name some 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 famous rock albums in the history and I want you to rate on a scale of one to ten how likely you think uh, that you'd feature the following albums on a future cover to cover. Okay. So I'll start off with um, Ario Speedwagons. Uh, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Or no, it's I got yeah I'm you can't tune a fish. That's right. I brought one for you. Are these? Oh my God. There's Jalapeno. Jalapenos. Jalapeno. So Ario Speedwagon. Will there be an Ario Speedwagon cover to cover? I doubt it. I'm sorry, Connor. I was. Okay. I would love to see an Ario Speedwagon. Did Fingers do? Uh... He did it, and Sean Slaughter actually um, did vocals. Yeah, Fingers Rogers can great. do a Ario Speedwagon cover to cover. I uh, I want there to be a Cinderella cover. <laughs> You're not to cover. supposed to just bite it. <laughs> oh, it's string cheese. I don't. Know. What did you think it was? Just a roll of cheese? <laughs> That's how I eat it. I just like to get as you much just cheese as you could. Just chop it down. <laughs> in my you gotta mouth. enjoy it. Anyways, Connor, 
Um, yeah, I'll th um, uh, the Steve Miller Band's greatest hits, and uh, might I suggest so, the cool for, for that, the yeah. greatest hits? Greatest hits. You don't want to do like Fly Like an Eagle or something? The greatest prefer, hits. Well, I mean. This is spicy. So <laughs> it's jalapenos. Mm. There's jalapenos in there. Jalapenos. Um, yeah, I mean, I could see a Steve Miller one. So Connor and the Cool Cats, I'll put that down for May 2013. That's good. Um, Plenty of time. How about uh, Kurt's favorite, uh, Dick Hazelwood's <laughs> Dick, Hazel Dick, Dick Hazelwood. Hazelwood's songs from a Sunday morning. He is out. playing Meadowbrook in two weeks. We're going. Wait, Dick Can Hazelwood you... is an actual person? Yeah. You didn't know that? No. He's a great classic country star in the vein of... I do love uh, classic country. Go to YouTube. Just type in www.youtube.com. It will come right up. <laughs> Everything just comes right up. Mm -hmm. I love that. Dick so Dick Hazelwood, Hazelwood. How, how likely for a cover to cover? I doubt it. I'm sorry. Right, you can't really. I don't blame you for that. Because <laughs> so um. Oh my god. Because uh, remember we were talking about taking this seriously. Oh, sorry. How about how about Kiss's music from the Elder? Never. That's Never. That's a great record. That's a great record. I recommend you all go to Never. your local Bull Moose. Never. Kiss Never takes you into happen. a magical land of sorcery and. You mean my own personal hell? Okay, the last one I'm gonna do. Kurt Baker's got it covered. How likely is there going to be a cover to cover for Kurt a Baker? A cover to cover of a cover? Yeah, it's, it'll be so ironic and meta. Especially in yeah, Portland. Exactly, it'll be so meta. Yeah, that'll happen. It will happen. Yep. Who oh, would be Kurt yeah. Baker? Um, Spose? <laughs> Dan Knudsen. Dan, Dan, Dan Knudsen. Dan, Dan Knudsen, Knudsen and Spose together. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they haven't collaborated yet. <laughs> I really can't believe that either. They really should. That would be a dynamite duo. Dynamite. That would duo. be like that would be like Barbara Streisand and that dude from the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Barry Gibb. Barry Gibb. So we just got a few more questions left. Kurt, you got any uh, pressing pressing issues you want to address? Um. Yes, it says here on your bio that you love having dates at Subway. You are. Why? Yet. Why is that? that <laughs> you already at. Um, I'm out of questions, dude. I got one more. I'm just too. I. I, I just want to know one one quick <laughs> thing. Strung out on string Strung cheese. Out. One quick thing. Yeah. Have you ever had the rhubarb pie at Captain Jim's Roadhouse, which is the I've hear from our friend Jeff, who's uh, out today, out sick, uh, with uh, teeth problems. <laughs> <laughs> Tooth. He tells us that it's the best rhubarb pie this side of the old where man is, on the mountain. Where is this place? Captain Jim's Roadhouse, right near Meadowbrook Farms. We go there for Bud Light. Props to Ken. Props, Props to, to Ken, Ken Bell and the Big Easy, uh, all the nights that they have there. Yes, the Big Dance. Easy. Big, big and easy. easy. A great place. Yeah, Big and Easy. Kind of like your last girlfriend, Kurt. Yeah, well, that, that's right. She was big <laughs> and definitely easy, but that's a story for another episode. We, we could have, we could ask her to come on. Yeah. She can fit through the door. <laughs> yeah. They might need a forklift to get her in. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being skinny. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, genetics. Yeah, it's pretty right. cool. Thanks for being well, yeah. here, Holly. Yeah, we hope you had a good time me. outside of us forgetting to tell you about Captain Jim's Roadhouse. Or act being my actual friends, but oh, I'm a, over it. We'll discuss it later. Yeah. It's a different time. But anyway, that's just it. We're here. That's it. That's just it. Yeah, stay tuned in next week for uh, another exciting show. That's right. It's exciting. It's Thanks, exciting. Holly. We'll it's see you exciting. later. Thanks, Holly. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Thanks, Connor. Thanks, Kurt. All right. See you guys all later. Good night. Wow, yeah, just having a wonderful time. I could go for some rhubarb pie right now. You want to make the two and a half hour trip Let's then go, to Guilford? Yeah. Okay, you can guys even give you a ride. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. yeah we're yeah, gonna we take we're need. gonna take a greyhound, and it'll probably be about twelve transfers from here to Guilford. Oh man, it'd be well worth it. It'd be well, well worth it. So worth it. What I mean, like to have Bud Light on tap, really? Yeah, like, I'm it, pretty I, sure they have Bud Light on tap at like Bingus. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know. I think they have it at the Frosty Pint, too. Ooh. Forest F. If they have Bud Light Lime, now that's a Bud Light whole Lime. Different what about the Bud Light Harvest Wheat? What? That's like a seasonal Bud Light. That sounds way too fancy. It's too fancy, yeah. Bud Light Platinum. That's what you it's like, really thinking Platinum. Do you gym tan laundry after you? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not even going to drink it now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. It's awful. Awful stuff. Uh. Cool.